Hi there YouTube and welcome to another Tech Craver short. Two of the most common questions I get regarding Switch emulation on Steam Deck is 1. How do I update a game or install DLCs? And 2. How do I preload Shader Cache in Jusu? On my thumb drive here I have Metroid Dread as well as Metroid Dread 2.1.0 update. I also have the Vulkan Shader Cache from Metroid Dread on here which allows Vulkan games to load faster and have improved framerate stability and remove stuttering during gameplay. A Shader Cache is specific for each game and it requires someone to play through the whole game and build the cache and then export it. The first thing you want to do is to copy the base game file to your game folder. I have installed Jusu through the use of Emudeck, so I have all my game folders on my SD card. Transfer your game file to the folder where Jusu looks for your game files. And once that is complete, just close down the folder and open up Yuzu. And as you can see, here is Metroid Dread. And if we right click it and select properties, we can see that it's version 1.0.0. Now to update this game, just simply click on file and install files to NAND. And now we need to look for our update file. I have it on my thumb drive. So simply click it and install. And that's all you have to do to update the game. And the process is exactly the same for DLCs. If we right click it again and check properties, you can see that the version is now 2.1.0. And you can also uncheck if you don't want the update to launch. For shader cache, all we have to do is to copy the shader cache file. I have it on my thumb drive, as I told you before. It's this Vulkan.bin. So I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna head back to Yuzu. And I'm gonna right click on the game and select Open Transferable pipeline cache. That will open the directory where we will need to paste the shader cache. And that's actually all you have to do. And that's been it for this Tech Graver short. We have gone through how to install a Switch game, how to update it, and how to install or preload the shader cache to avoid stuttering and other hiccups in games. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial and maybe it even helped you out. If you did or if it did, please let me know by leaving a like or a comment and why not consider subscribing to my channel while you're at it. And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.